Iraq's going to need more help. Uh, it's going to need more help from us, and it's going to need more help from the international community. So my team is working uh, around the clock to identify how we can uh, provide uh, the most effective assistance to them. Uh, I don't rule out anything uh, because we do have a stake in making sure that uh, these jihadists are not getting a permanent foothold uh, in either Iraq uh, or Syria, for that matter. We're not going to be able to be everywhere all the time. Uh, but what we can do is to make sure that we are uh, consistently helping to finance, train, advise military forces with partner countries, including Iraq, that have the capacity to maintain their own security. Uh, and that is a, a long and laborious process, but it's one that uh, we need to get started. Uh, that's part of what the counterterrorism uh, partnership fund that I uh, am going to be calling for Congress to help finance is all about, giving us the capacity to uh, extend our reach without sending uh, U.S. troops uh, to play whack-a-mole uh, wherever there ends up being a problem uh, in a particular country. That's going to be more effective. It's going to be uh, more legitimate in the eyes of people in the region as well as the international community. Uh, but it's going to take time for us to build it. In the short term, uh, we have to deal with uh, what clearly is an emergency situation in Iraq.